Sir, have you heard a second common good parachain may be joining Kusama? Motion 404 seeks to register a common good parachain by community vote if passed into referenda by a majority of Kusama counselors. A fairly substantial proportion of the human population, we're talking over a billion people, remain unbanked and with no government-issued ID. Emerging local economies struggle with a low supply of currency, making growth and sustainability difficult. Encointer offers a novel approach whereby regular in-person meetups every 41 days generates a basic income to those whose personhood is attested by others at the meetup. This income is a local currency, with a locally agreed belief in its value, allowing it to become a medium of exchange and lubricate the local economy. It qualifies as a common good chain because it will not have a native token, and the ability to identify personhood can be useful to other parachains for processes such as token faucets, voting, and user ratings. Not to mention a way to trade other crypto tokens for a local currency without a third-party off-ramp. Super fascinating. And there's a poke assembly thread, the place where a lot of governance discussions take place off-chain, where counselors have tempered the idea with their questions and concerns in the description below. It will be a slow-growing experiment, as meetups can only grow 50% each time, but definitely a project to wrap your head around, and I'll let you know how to participate in the vote if it comes up for referenda. It looks like they aim to take one of the slots of this current batch, however, which narrows the field. Clearly, Subsocial is off to the races with around 85% of its cap filled in the first day of the closing period. Sherpa X has released a plan for when they will win a slot, though right now sitting under 5,000 KSM. And Sherpa X, by the way, is looking to become the largest Bitcoin Layer 2 network in the world. I'm sure a comprehensive comparison between them and InterBTC will be on this channel any day now. Zeitgeist still pretending like it's going for a slot. We'll believe it when we see it. And Sora's been silent since their tease yesterday. But hey, if you helped elevate Genshiro to a slot in the last batch, they have released the winning accounts from their Mega Boost lottery with multiple prizes valued at $300 and $1,000 respectively. Speaking of anticipated parachains, we have our unofficial correspondent Eye of the Beholder summarizing a recent Twitter spaces where Origin Trail detailed their near-term roadmap. This includes the concept of UALs, Universal Asset Locators, like the URLs of Web2, where each asset on the decentralized knowledge graph will have its own unique address with keywords, making the entire landscape of real-world and digital goods searchable like Google. But where Google has around 5 billion assets on their knowledge graph, Origin Trail projects hundreds of billions on theirs within the next few years, as they're additionally indexing the metaverse curated by users instead of internal processes. Again, you can check out the 22-tweet thread in the description below. Thank you, IOTB. And sir, did we manage to get through a whole episode without talking about Composable? Maybe we'll have something tomorrow. Have a great day, everybody.